Hello everyone. Have you been looking for a deeper understanding on how calculating elevation works? Well, you're in the right place. In today's quick video, we're going to explore the basics of elevation calculations, including ellipsoids, geoids, vertical datums, orthometric height calculations, and key reference systems like NAD83 and WGS84. Let's get started. First, let's talk about ellipsoids. The Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It's slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. An ellipsoid is a mathematically defined surface that approximates the shape of the Earth. This model helps us to simplify and standardize calculations for geographic and surveying purposes. Ellipsoidal height is appropriate for intermediate calculations, but not for final products. One commonly used ellipsoid is the World Geodetic System, WGS84, which is the basis for GPS. Another is the North American datum, NAD83, used in North America. Next, we have the geoid. The geoid represents the difference between mean sea level and the ellipsoid. It accounts for gravitational variations across the Earth's surface. Think of it as the shape the ocean would take under the influence of Earth's gravity without winds and tides. WGS84 is often used with the EGM96 geoid model, while NAD83 is used with geoid18. So while the ellipsoid is a smooth mathematical surface, the geoid is a more accurate representation of the Earth's surface due to gravitational irregularities. Now, let's talk about orthometric height, which is your current elevation using a vertical datum. It's the elevation that most people think of as height above sea level. We calculate orthometric height by measuring the ellipsoidal height and then subtracting the geoid height, the separation between the ellipsoid and the vertical datum. This calculation is important because it provides us with a more meaningful representation of elevation, directly related to the Earth's gravitational field. If we simply use ellipsoidal heights, we could have the situation where water would flow from a lower elevation to a higher elevation. Understanding these concepts is essential for applications like surveying, construction, and GPS navigation and mapping, where accurate elevation data is vital. I hope this gives you a clearer understanding of how elevations work. Ellipsoids, geoids, vertical datums, orthometric height calculations, and reference systems like NAD83 and WGS84 are fundamental concepts that help us measure and interpret the Earth's surface accurately. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.